Today I want to tell you about a puzzle called A Floral Fantasy in an Old English Garden by Walter Crane, published by Art and Fable Puzzles. It is only 500 pieces, so it's smaller than most of the puzzles that I usually solve, but while I I solved another puzzle by the same company recently was the River Pearl Village. I enjoyed it so much, I wanted to solve more puzzles by the same company. They published these really beautiful puzzles with a lot of interesting bonuses and they have a velvety feel to them that just makes solving the puzzles very nice. But Another reason why I wanted a, a puzzle such as this one is that the puzzle is easy. So 500 is not particularly large, but it's also pretty easy because of the distinctive nine areas that you have here. And I'm going through something quite major, which is a 4,000 piece puzzle. So it's okay to take breaks with little puzzles that I can solve in a couple of hours and then go back to the madness. This one was perfect for that reason. I really enjoyed it and again it's a perfect diversion from more complicated puzzles maybe you are also a pandemic puzzlers just starting with this amazing hobby so this could be a good option like other art and fable puzzles this one comes with a large ziploc bag which is used to store uh, pieces or groups of pieces you want to separate from the rest a nice uh, sturdy collectible print which already can work as a home decoration it's also very good when you're solving the puzzle to look at the details so you can really look at it up close and something that i just love so much about this company they give you a stand for the lid that you can just use to well, keep the lid standing so you can look at it as you solve the puzzle between this one and the print you have all that you need to solve the puzzle you could solve an even more complicated puzzle than this one but this one is easy so um not that you strictly need that stuff that i showed you but it's nice to have it this is the puzzle itself uh the pieces are very very thick nice and thick and as i said before nice velvety feel you can hear it you can hear that you cannot feel it but try to imagine velvety very pleasant the fit is very strong you can definitely pick up the whole puzzle and carry it around that's how good the fit is which also means of course as you're solving it uh, if you need to move areas that you've solved around not a problem i love puzzles that have just such a nice tight fit and at the same time it's not that you have to struggle to put the pieces together the colors are very nice and not particularly vibrant, but that's that's the point with this kind of art specific. You had this relaxing color palette, which still enough variety to be very interesting visually, but also um, again, I would say relaxing, <laughs> relaxing, so to speak. Now, more in detail, just to give you a sense, now we're gonna look more in detail at the images. I love this puzzle. It was just so much fun to solve. Of course, the text really helps. So after doing the frame, that was the first thing that I looked at to create or to solve the, the text boxes. For some reason, this one, probably because it's so distinct, it was the first then, I would say, mini puzzle that I solved specifically. And so you have all of these allegorical figures from an English garden or an English fantasy of sorts. I know people really like puzzles based on mucha if that's how you pronounce it so this is not the same but you have the sort of like you know liberty art nouveau style and feel to it with these slightly surreal slightly melancholy figures some more realistic than others some completely obviously allegorical and this is it, a fantasy, a floral fantasy in an English garden. Really good production values. I am just so impressed with Art and Fable. They immediately became one of my favorite companies together with Pomegranate and Eurographics. Beautiful puzzle, great feel to it, absolutely fun.
fun to solve. The only quote unquote negative, of course, is that it's fairly easy, but that's not a negative if like in my case, uh, that's exactly what you're looking for. So some of you, you want to get good value for your money as hard as possible, possibly you can get for your money uh, because you want it to last. This is not going to last long, but if you have some big puzzle projects going on or you just want some easy, relaxing thing, least relaxing puzzle you can do in a couple of hours, this is definitely a good option. This is the kind of puzzle that I'm not going to frame, I'm going to destroy in a good sense, in the good way, because I want to do it again. It's precisely the kind of puzzle that you do over and over again. And that's why I can now proceed to destroy it. Which I have to say, it's a process not without some pleasure in it. Not without a bit of a cathartic feel to it. Not so strong in this case because again solving this puzzle was fairly easy. And this concludes my review of this puzzle. Really nice, highly recommended, absolutely nice, nice, very pleasant puzzle.